how to set up the equipment, set up the house, and use the DG700 pressure gauge, let's go ahead and go through the procedures required to actually do a blower door test. I will introduce two methods for conducting a single point test. For each method, use the adjusted baseline pressure feature of the DG700. Here's the fan installed on the door and the cover is installed on the fan. Now whenever we're taking baseline pressure measurements or doing our adjusted baseline pressure measurement, we always make sure that the cover is on the fan. If we take the cover off the fan, then the interior and the exterior are connected and the pressure difference will go to zero. Now we can change the configuration of the fan by removing the cover. And when we remove the cover, the fan is then in the open configuration. And if we we're going to do a test with the fan in the open configuration, we'd want to make the appropriate adjustment on the DG700 using the configuration function set to open. Now, if we don't need the fan on the open setting, we can install the largest ring, or the A ring, to conduct a test. Again, if we do this, we need to make sure that through the configuration settings on the DG700, we're set to A1, which corresponds to the A ring. Similarly, we can install a B ring if we're dealing with buildings that are tighter or very small buildings and as we did previously we would want to make sure that our B ring corresponds to the B2 setting on the through the configuration settings on the DG700. You may have a C ring and a D ring etc. I don't have that right now but uh, just make sure that the fan ring configuration matches what you have set on the DG700 and that whenever you're taking baseline measures the fan is completely covered. So we've got our equipment set up, we've got the DG700 set up, the fans in place. So let's go ahead and turn the DG700 on and uh, get going with some initial procedures. So when we turn it on, we see that the, uh, the pressure difference shown on channel A, which is the difference between inside the house in reference to the outside, is about uh, 3.7 Pascals and it's negative, so that means that the interior of the home is negatively pressured relative to the outside. Now, if we were to come here and test this building at a different time, say maybe in the spring or the summer or the fall, that baseline pressure might be quite a bit different. Maybe it's zero then. So we need to correct for that because we might be testing a building at different times of the year if we're uh, testing it over, over the course of um, a variety of um, uh, weatherization procedures done on the building. So in order to correct for this using this system, we're going to use an adjusted baseline pressure. And what we're going to do is we're going to correct for it by making whatever the pressure difference is at baseline with the fan shut, the panel in place, we're going to call that difference zero. And actually, we're going to let the DG700 do that for us and then it'll use that correction through the entire testing procedure. A single point test is determining the amount of airflow required to depressurize the house to 50 pascals relative to the outdoors. There are two ways to do this using two different mode settings. For each of those strategies, however, we want to do an adjusted baseline measurement. So let's first look at how do you do adjusted baseline? 
Regardless of which of the two mode settings we're using for a single point blower door test, the adjusted baseline measurement procedure is the same. Simply hit baseline and you'll see baseline flashing on channel A and we'll still be measuring the difference in pressure between the inside and the outside of the building with the fan closed and the panel in place. We then hit start and we'll see the counter count up as it collects data. You have to make some decision as to how long you want that to, to run. If it's uh, very calm outside, 10-15 seconds is probably plenty. If it's a little bit breezier or uh, there's some intermittent winds, you may want to go 30 seconds or a minute or maybe even more. When you're satisfied with the, the duration, simply hit enter and the unit has now corrected for our baseline pressure measurement which was about minus 3.7 pascals. Now we're registering a zero difference. We're starting from zero. Any change that occurs once we turn on the fan is due to the fan speed. Baseline pressure is always measured with the fan completely closed. Baseline pressure will fluctuate. It will fluctuate more during windy conditions. Once the adjusted baseline procedure has been completed, the pressure display on channel A should fluctuate around zero. When the fan cover is removed or the desired ring is installed and the fan remains off, the measured pressure will change again. This is normal. Turn the fan controller knob clockwise to turn on the fan. Continuing clockwise will increase fan speed. You should see a greater pressure difference on channel A and a greater flow on channel B. Lower the speed and turn off the fan by turning the knob counterclockwise. We are now ready to conduct a test. For a single point test using the pressure flow method, verify that the mode setting is pressure flow. So let's go ahead and start our blower door test. Uh, we've taken the cover off the fan and we, we think that this house might need a full open setting on the fan. We've got our blower door 3 indicated here where our pressure flow, our configuration is open, matching the status of the fan. So I'll bring it up slowly at first, maybe to about 25 pascals, just to make sure that everything in the house is okay and that the, uh, the, fr the blower door and frame are in securely. So you can see us uh, ramping up here, we're at about 8 pascals now, and we're going to keep turning it up. And you can see over here that we're flashing between low and a number. The reason we're doing that is because with the configuration the way it is, the uh, pressure gauge can't accurately measure it. So we'll see if that changes as we, as we move up. See it's still flashing. We're at about 25 pascals, so we're about halfway to our 50 pascal test pressure. When you have reached approximately 25 pascals, you should pause to make sure the blower door assembly is still firmly in place and to look around the building for any problems that may have arisen during the depressurization. About, uh, 42 pascals now. Now we're about at a 
their test pressure, but you can see that this is flashing between low and uh, 1400 and something. What that tells us is that we have the fan in the wrong configuration, that um, the house is tighter than we can measure using the open configuration on the fan. Simple procedure to correct that, we simply turn the fan back down and we're going to install the A-ring and reconfigure our, our DG700. So, first thing we'll do, so we don't forget, we're going to hit configuration. And now, we're at A1, which is the A-ring, and we're going to go ahead and install the A-ring on the fan. The A-ring is installed, so let's turn the fan back up and see if we can't uh, get it within the measurable zone with the A-ring in place. Now there we are, we're pretty close. Uh, you can see it bumping around in the 49.8 to 50.2 or 3 or 4, so somewhere in there. And that's okay, as long as we're pretty close to 50. And you can see that to maintain an approximately 50 Pascal difference across the door, we need to move uh, 1116 cubic feet per minute of air. So right now that fan is moving just over 1,100 cubic feet of air per minute, maintaining a pressure of minus 50 pascals. There's a simple single point test using the pressure flow setting. For a single point test using the pressure flow at 50 method, verify that the mode setting is pressure flow at 50. The manufacturer of this equipment recommends the following strategy when doing a single point blower door test. Once the unit is on, we're going to press the mode button twice, and that will put us into pressure on channel A and flow at 50 pascals on channel B. This allows for us to get a reasonably accurate flow at 50 pascals, even if we can't reach the 50 pascal testing standard. It's still important to use the baseline function. And to use baseline function, we will simply hit baseline. We'll see the flashing baseline on channel A. Hit start. And when we're satisfied with the amount of data that have been collected, we're going to simply hit enter. And now the DG700 has corrected for that pressure difference across the boundary. So we've done the adjusted baseline pressure. We are on the A-ring and we're configured to the A-ring on our DG700. And we're in pressure and flow at 50 setting for our mode. So we're going to turn up the turn up the fan. Now you should notice already as we're moving up this is not giving a measure an absolute measurement it's trying to predict what our flow is going to be at 50 pascals even though we're only about halfway there. And as you can see, as we get a little bit closer, now here it's starting to predict that we'll be up in the 1100s. Now we're at about uh, 40, and it's, and it's predicting that our pressure, or our flow at 50 will be about 1126. And as we bring that up to 50,
So there we're at about 50 pascals, and we're getting a reading uh, somewhere between about 1115 cubic feet per minute to 1125 cubic feet per minute. So this number is virtually identical with the number we had using the other mode setting. So you can do it either way. You're going to get about the same uh, measurement. If you can't reach 50 pascals, you're going to have to use pressure and flow at 50 pascals on your mode setting. In this example, I am about to run a blower door test during very calm conditions. Notice the small fluctuations in baseline pressure on channel A. Under these conditions, I typically run the baseline pressure function for 10 to 20 seconds. In this case, after 20 seconds, I press enter, and the adjusted baseline fluctuates around zero pascals. Here I am testing the same house, but on a windier day. Notice the wide fluctuations in baseline pressure. It varies between approximately minus 1.5 and minus 7 pascals. Under such conditions, it can be helpful to shield the outside end of the reference hose, taking care not to pinch the hose. Whether shielded or not, it is advisable to increase the baseline pressure duration to make sure you account for changes in wind pressures. In this case, 60 seconds was sufficient. Notice there is greater fluctuation in the adjusted baseline than in the previous example.